Come on. Get it together, Bree. This is why you're a horrible YouTuber. You can never get it together. Get it. I'm sorry I had to come to y'all the way I'm coming to y'all. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm. Hey. Oh, God. There we go. Ooh. Look at those lips. Lips, lips. Look at those lips. Popping, bitch. So. I thought to do this video just randomly because I had got a message from a subscriber and they was basically just telling me, you know what I'm saying, how they love my channel and how they wish I had more subscribers, you know, the whole spiel of how, you know, bitch, you're popping in these streets. I just wish people could see you more in these YouTube streets and it's like, I feel y'all. And then when I was in the shower, I was like, you know what, I'm gonna do a video about me being a horrible YouTuber. And that's why I always tell y'all I'm not a YouTuber. I always tell y'all that and y'all think I be playing. Y'all think I be just being funny. Y'all think I be jokey jokey. And I know sometimes y'all like to come in the comments and give me like advice like, girl, if you just do this and that, if you just do this and that, if you just do that and this girl, you'll be out here in these YouTube streets. So I said, you know what? I'm gonna do a video Letting y'all know how I know I'm a horrible YouTuber so that y'all don't think I don't know. You know what I'm saying? The first thing that makes me a horrible, horrible YouTuber is the fact that I curse. I curse. I like to pour me up a cocktail from time to time and I like to smoke a little green green from time to time. And I'm over here, I am being my authentic self and I have no desire to fake the funk. Um, I have no desire to hide the fact that I curse. I express on a lot of my videos that I am grown. Grown, grown. Not like 22, 23 grown, like 31 grown. Grown, grown, okay? I could choose to filter myself. I just choose not to filter myself because it would no longer be fun for me if I had to filter myself. If I had a goal with YouTube, I probably would filter myself a little more because I have a goal, but I don't have a goal. So it's like, who gives a fuck? Do what you want, girl. So that's one reason why I know I'm never gonna make it on his YouTube stuff because I curse too much. Um, and I smoke and I drink and I don't care to hide it. Another thing that makes me a horrible, horrible, horrible YouTuber is that I am not consistent. I'm not, I put up videos very randomly. I have weeks where I can be consistent and I'll push like two videos back to back. And then I have weeks where I'm not consistent at all and I can go two or three weeks, maybe a month without putting up a video. The moment I feel like I ever do a video schedule is the moment I feel like this shit would be a job for me and it would no longer be fun. I cannot do that, y'all. I cannot give y'all a video every Wednesday or every Thursday or every, you know, I can't commit to that. I don't want to commit to that. I don't want a lot of y'all. So I probably would never, ever, 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 probably would never have a very consistent YouTube channel, which is another big reason why I'm a horrible YouTuber because to be popping in this thing, to be popping in these YouTube streets, you gotta be consistent. And I'm not saying you have to have a YouTube schedule, but to keep your consistency, it's good to have one. I don't want one, I'm never gonna have one. So I'm already failing. <laughs> I'm already failing as a YouTube um, person. Another reason I am a horrible, 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 horrible YouTuber is because I don't bring my camera out a lot. I don't. A lot of times when I'm creating videos, it's very random, it's very spur of the moment. Usually it's when I'm in a crib and just randomly put up the camera, roll that bitch for 30 minutes, and then see what we get out of it when it's time to edit, okay? And I will get some good stuff out of it without even knowing, you know what I'm saying? Because I'm a loner, and I know how to entertain myself, and I talk to myself a lot. So it's nothing to put up the camera and talk to the camera and give you my authentic self and my comfort of my home. It comes down to going in public. I may give y'all a little montage, a little vibe of what I may be doing. It's very, very hard for me to take my camera out or even to remember to take my camera out to events, to functions. I don't want to put my camera in people's faces. Honestly, I just naturally don't think to pick up my camera. You know, like I think I have a good way 
in a good balance of being transparent, a good balance of being relatable, but I'm also very private. If you follow me on Instagram and you see my stories and stuff, I'm pretty active on my Instagram, but there's so much that people don't see. There's so much I don't pick up my phone or my camera for. Those are the best, most genuine, authentic moments, and those are the moments that you naturally just don't have time to pick up your camera for. Another thing that makes me a horrible, horrible, horrible YouTuber is the fact that I really have no content or let me say this I have content but I don't keep up with the trends like I don't keep up with YouTube trends I naturally go against the grain of things that's hella trendy and that's the loner in me that's the Aquarius in me but when everybody go right I go left I've always been the type of person that just you know dance to the beat of my own drum so when something's too too popping too too lit i'm the one who usually stray away from it versus like coming towards it i'm not the type of person that wants to be with with the group okay i'm the one that's chilling in the background so because i don't keep my content current with the trends of youtube is another reason that i don't grow so not only am i not consistent but i'm not keeping up with the trends of youtube i really just do what the hell i want to do on this channel and that's why i always tell you guys i'm not a mukbanger even though i do mukbangs i'm not a youtuber even though i do youtube i'm just here girl in my corner in my chair with my people's Kicking and having a good time. As I always say, I'm sure if I was that person who did pranks and challenges, if I forced my girlfriend to make a couples channel with me and I did videos every day, I promise you and I'm sure that we probably will be YouTube popping right now. But honestly, that shit scares me. Which leads me to another reason I'm a horrible, horrible YouTuber is the fact that the shit scares me. I really don't care for a lot of attention. I really want you guys to understand and know that. I really don't. Even having 14K subscribers does something to my spirit. Like, it really does make me anxious. I'm I'm very chill and I love intimate settings and even though YouTube is one of those very like public platforms and you're out there there's still a part of me that want to take YouTube and keep it one of my little intimate you know places where I just get to vibe with my people I have no des I've never been that person even in high school even in my real everyday life I have no desire to be popular I have no desire to be famous I have no desire to be goals I have no desire for attention I have no desire for none of that and I think that again is the Aquarius in me I have a very vibrant energy and a very contagious energy I think but at the same time I'm very very low low key and very very chill sorry I just have no desire for the YouTube fame and the you know the YouTube spotlight I'm sorry Another thing that makes me a horrible, 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 horrible YouTuber is the fact that I don't really clickbait. I don't go ham on my thumbnails. I do everything very simple. I don't go into the analytics. I don't really care about my tags that much. My tags are usually very basic. Like the whole background of YouTube, I don't be caring about. And that's how I know I'm a horrible YouTuber. I remember one of my subscribers, and they weren't being mean, they weren't being shady or anything like that but he's one of my subscribers and he was basically saying how he just loves my channel and he just wished more people could see my channel and a lot of people say that and he was just telling me you know like oh if you spice up your titles a little bit more make them a little bit more catchy and grabby and almost clickbaity oh shit i didn't even know you fucking i know you just um yeah, I'm, up. Like I'm almost done now <laughs> babe just brought me the blizzard Another reason why I'm never going to be a good YouTuber. <laughs> I'm never going to be a good YouTuber. But yeah, one of my subscribers was just saying like, you know, if you make these titles real catchy, damn near clickbaity, it just grabbed the motherfuckers in, girl, you'll get all the views. And I literally just thought about that and thinking about that made me exhausted. To even put that much effort to think about a title that's going to grab people gives me anxiety and it makes my head hurt just thinking about that you know just thinking about it makes my head hurt girl spending more than five minutes three minutes on a thumbnail girl gives me anxiety it's too much i'm not really a clickbaitish person and if i ever have a title that kind of sound clickbaitish it still has something to do referencing to my video you know what i'm saying but i guess he's saying he want me to od and exaggerate and go ham on the title to make people at least click it. 
I don't have Facebook, I don't have Twitter, I have Instagram, and I have YouTube. That is the extent of my social media, so I really truly treat YouTube as another form of social media. It's just a lengthy, um, more detailed look into me, who I am, my life. The amount of thought that I put into a caption under my Instagram picture is the same amount of thought I put into my um, title under my YouTube. And that's another reason why a bitch would never, ever, ever, ever be popping on YouTube. Hello, we just speaking truths, okay? I'm gonna speak the truth so y'all know that I know these truths so that y'all don't have to iterate this or remind me this. Like, I know y'all wanna see me do great. I know y'all wanna see me be great. I know y'all want this energy to be shared with other people because the way YouTube is set up now, my girl, it's just too much. But at the same time, I just want people to respect the fact that, and I know it's so hard to believe. I know it's so hard to believe that some people really do do this shit for fun. I know it's hard to believe. It's almost impossible. You think it's impossible. You think it's impossible like, Ugh, really? You do this for fun? You don't want coin? It's like people don't want to believe that you really do this for fun. Like, it's like some people want to see a change in the world, yet we add on to the stigma of fame and popularity and all this stuff and it's like sis i just don't want it i know you're trying to help i know you're trying to get me there but i don't want to be there i don't want to girl another thing that makes me a horrible youtuber is that i'm a loner like i'm a loner but i'm not lonely like i have dope people in my life dope people that i am around but i am the pilot of this channel you know what i'm saying like y'all even see amber here and there she's not even the co-pilot she's just a passenger that just be here she she the um flight attendant like she always on the plane but sometimes you just don't see her like she's her but I'm like the main captain of this plane and I don't have like other personalities and other characters in the background that's enhancing my videos or other characters that people want to come over here and watch. I don't have children. Um, I don't have a, another posse of people that does YouTube and I think that that helps with um, growing your channel and making your channel big having these amazing friends in the background just adding more flavor i guess to your videos but girl i think i'm way enough flavor you already know if you're trying to do this for real you can't you don't want your camera around people who don't want to be on camera you know what i'm saying because it just makes it awkward and you can't be your authentic self when you're scared to put your camera up because people don't want to be on the camera so you used to have people like latoya forever and what i used to love i don't watch latoya forever no more but like when i used to watch her everyone was involved was like her family was involved adam was involved the kids are involved um her friends were involved they even had their own channels like everyone was involved and i feel like that helped even make her channel even stronger you know what i'm saying and the fact that even now to this day you have people clicking up and you know trying to live in houses together because they know that's what kind of brings an audience as well it's just me myself and i over here and that's all you're gonna get sis and also, if you've been following me a long while, you know that I've had YouTube for a very long time. I stopped YouTube for a very long time and came back, but all the way in like seven, eight, nine, ten years ago, I had a YouTube. And obviously, y'all know, y'all know how the whole spiel goes. I ain't gonna get y'all the whole spiel, but y'all know back in the day, YouTube was completely, completely, completely different. And it was so much more fun, to me it was. Um, the quality was horrible back in the day. I ain't gonna lie, compared to now, the quality was horrible, okay? But um, back in the day, like YouTube was so much fun and it wasn't about fame and popularity and trends and stuff like that it really was all about being authentic I think I have the like YouTube alumni um, syndrome I'm gonna say syndrome it's not a curse syndrome because I feel like because I was on YouTube a long time ago and it was just so different then that I'm coming back with that same energy you just see me in better quality now you know what I'm saying like it ain't nothing changed like if you actually go and watch my old YouTube videos which I don't think y'all can see it anymore I still can but I will put some clips in this video somewhere but if you go back and watch like my old 
YouTube videos, I am the same person. Like I have not changed. I've grown up, I evolved, I got wiser, um, quality and got better, baby. I mean that <laughs> literally too. Figuratively, literally all of it, girl. The quality, sis. The quality, sis. The quality, sis, has gotten better. But other than that, like who I was, I'm the same girl. And the same energy and compliments I used to get back then is the same ones that I get now. I have not fucking changed. The same energy that I have now with how I use YouTube is the same one I had then. I don't want nothing from this, sis, okay? Like my old YouTube was like a span of like three, four years. So you really saw me grow. You saw me um, about to go to college bits of me in college you see me through different relationships you see me come back home and go to hair school you saw me get my own apartment you've seen me go through bullshit in relationships you've seen me go through breakups like on my last that was like some real shit okay that was some real, i'm more settled in my in my space now but that shit right there that was some y'all literally people who was lucky enough to like be a part of my china dow 213 page is like y'all see me in a light that i love like in a sense of y'all know y'all know what's up period like, feeling like i'm just coming back like starting where i left off like starting from that point and now you just get to see me a lot older a lot more mature so i think this has got i guess the only people that will really get this is the people that's been following me for a very long time. Here's a few old videos from my channel. And on my old channel, like I said, it was just a random, just my life. Just like how it is now. Um, girl, I had a hip rolling video. That's how you know. It was back in the day, day when hip rolling videos was that thing, girl. Y'all remember when bitches used a hip roll on YouTube? Check her out, girl. And look how many views. Look how many views this video got. I had videos with my family. What up, what up? YouTube, She's over Facebook, Twitter, world. What's good? She's over there, cake. Look at oh, him. Go, <laughs> go, go. Hey, bo. Hey, 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 hey. Drop it. Why you Shit. <laughs> um, somebody was vogue and he's like. But, um, <laughs> anyway, so Come on, uh, we're about to go to the beach. We're about to go to the beach. We are playing spades and we're making it into a drinking game. Whoever wins can take a spade. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Bitch, get over. Hey, hey, hey yeah. Hello. Now we gonna talk about trifling ass men. Niggas. Come on. How about it? Okay. Right, come on. Come on. If you, you ain't got no money, fuck you, nigga. <laughs> with some gasoline draw. Fuck you, nigga. With some gasoline draw. <laughs> fuck you, nigga. <laughs> with some gasoline. <laughs> Fuck with Jay on some horny shit. That's a stupid hickey. That's so nice, 1990. Right there. Anyway. That's because she was so horny. Fuck me, baby. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> <laughs> the Super Bowl that's going to be coming up. I'm so fucking excited. I decided, that's cute. I decided to take, I decided to take pictures. <laughs> and I want to put pictures up that I took. The only thing that's bootleg about it is I forgot to put the time. I mean, I put the time thing at the bottom. Let's see that's why I'm being bullet, but other than that, you would have thought I took them as some professional. Number one. I am over the invisible parts. I'm sorry, ladies. I understand that that's like the in 
thing, you know. And I'm not going to say that I, I haven't been a victim to the invisible part. I've actually been a victim like three times. I have videos with exes. I got to say, you know. <laughs> no. Hello. Okay, anyway. <laughs> this is a relationship time, right? <laughs> you want to talk about what he do to get on my nerves all the time? And what I do to get on his nerves? So people don't think I'm perfect because I get on his nerves, don't I? Boy. Shut up, okay. I mean, only anyway, you do. Anyway, okay, one thing he do to get on my nerves mm -hmm. that you do to get on my nerves. Okay? You can't get mad though. Okay, what do you do to get on my nerves? When we going when we going to get some food. Let me know you did this one time. I had videos where I talked about all type of random crazy subjects. Right there. Uh oh. <laughs> <laughs> now a lot of people <laughs> a lot of people have told me to do a video about my parents. And I haven't because I did one a long time ago, but now that I have like new viewers and new people ask me, and I probably took it down, um, I will. And it's going to be kind of short because it's not much I can tell you. Hi, baby. Is it blinding you? It's blinding your eyes. You don't want to look. Huh. Okay. Show. No, let me stop. Sorry if I look a mess at the moment because I just came back from a movie dinner bar. Exactly that though. Like it's a movie theater that has tables that waitress and waiters come serve you food. Basically the same stuff I kind of do now just on a different type of level. That's another reason why I probably would never be a good YouTuber because I have old YouTuber syndrome where I'm just chilling and I'm just using it the same way I used to just with better quality this is probably I won't say the most important reason but a very important reason to like I have an amazing job like I love my job um, I'm ready to get out of my job as you guys know I've been bartending for 12 years um, I spent like eight of those years at clubs and now I'm at a place that's not a club so it's a lot more chill still fun so I've always been blessed to be financially um, blessed. I've always been blessed to be financially happy, financially content, um, never needing necessarily money or anything like that. I work three days and I make good money in those three days and I have four days to live my life and um, be who I wanna be, do what I wanna do, um, be creative, do videos for y'all. Like, you know, I get to just live my life. And I have like, honestly, yeah, I'm trying to, you know, I'm getting older, so I'm trying to switch into a point where, you know, I'm working for myself and I don't have to clock in nowhere, even if it is for three days. At the end of the day, I still love my job. I still, I still make amazing money. And it's so crazy to me that people think that you have to be famous or you have to be popular to make money or have money or be happy or that you can't just be regular. <laughs> you just can't fathom the fact that you can be regular a regular person and be financially happy without being popular, without you know being famous, without having tons of likes, you can still have all those things being low key as shit. And you know, I have a good ass job, so I'm not thirsty for money. I'm not in a rush to like clock out. Even if I was doing something with this, I still would be bartending at my job. Like it's, I have a good time. I like my job, I make amazing money. I'm not struggling to make that money. Um, I make money. I'm Almost just as fast as a youtuber you know what I'm saying like I can make money just as fast um, doing what I do and actually doing something I feel like to do this I would have to be more consistent and it would be more stressful because I would always have to keep up like I'll always have to keep up with everything like just constantly keep up and I don't want to have to keep up with anything and that's in real life I don't want to have to keep up like I love the fact that I can go to work and I'm always gonna make my money and I can come home and do shit like this and not feel like I have to make this a job for a coin and don't get me wrong I get a little bit of coin like a little bit of coin here and now you know what I'm saying just a little bit of, a little bit of change <laughs> okay sis get a little bit of change a little, a little crumb a little crumb every couple of months <laughs> And you know, and I'm grateful. I'm grateful. Okay. 
don't get me wrong, I am grateful, but and it's just another, like, I guess, income. You know, I can eat my crab bowl or some girl, but other than that, like, this is just fun. Maybe I'll care if I'm busting out videos literally every single day, but I don't, I don't. And so I don't expect for people to keep up with me or that I'm about to be, you know, like the van life girl and like be pushed in the algorithms of YouTube and be on the fucking recommended page. But all I'm just trying to say is that I'm chilling, okay? And if you know me, how I think you know me, then you know I'm chilling. You know that this right here is not a priority for me at all. And I take it as a compliment. Like when you guys say things like that and say y'all wish I had more subscribers and say that, you know, giving me little tips of things that I could do, I take it as a compliment because that just means that y'all see something in me and think that a bitch out here popping, popping. You know what I'm saying? Listen, this is another thing that y'all have to understand too is that I don't give a fuck what y'all talking about on these YouTube streets. In real life, I'm popping, popping. I'm dope, dope, okay? I vibe hard, I live this life, I eat good, I drink good, I have a good time, I know who the hell I am, I adore me to the fucking fullest, I have dope people in my life, I'm authentic as hell, genuine as fuck, and I don't have to fake it to make it or to kick it. You hear me? Uh, <laughs> all right. Do you hear me, girls? Yeah, so like I don't, and I'm not easily, like in my brain isn't easily swayed. You cannot make me believe that um, how many likes you got, how many followers you got um, dictates or validates how dope you are as a person. I am popping, girl. This was a very impromptu video. As you see, I just got out of the shower, just washed my hair. I have on no makeup, no eyelashes, no eyebrows. Like, it don't get no more, <laughs> no more authentic, girl. It don't get no more raw than this. It just don't. No lashes, no brows, no nothing, no makeup, just here, girl. It's probably another reason why I would never be a good YouTuber, but whatever, you know? I'm good at other things. <laughs> Y'allthebomb.com, as always. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys. When I see you guys. Until next time, bye.